Welcome to your gold market update charts of the day. It's the 6th of February. Mike Smith here at Alistair Gold Markets here, giving you a meander around what's happening across newswires today, as well as where we are in the midpoint of the Asian session. Having a look across the headlines, US equities are softer overnight as the recent rally takes a pause. Markets a little twitched about some of the comments made by Jerome Pollard at an interview on 60 Minutes in the US at the weekend. Earnings are in focus this week with a plethora of US companies reporting. We've got some good numbers so far, but we've only had around 50% of the S&P 500 reported so far. US futures a little soft in early Asian trading, but off the lows. Asian markets are following that weak US lead. Generally speaking, ASX is down around 0.6% prior to the RBA rate decision and press conference. Uh, but that's off its lows. Materials are underperforming, again, on softer commodity prices. European futures are pointing to a cautiously positive open this afternoon. With that slightly hawkish Fed narrative, we're seeing the US 10-year bond yields move slightly higher. Of course, this has had an impact on the USD, uh, seeing the US dollar index move higher again. It's now well over the 200 MA and a high is not seen since early November. A little softer in Asia today, but that might be just a bit of profit taking. Then go drop and test the important 2030 level. Copper had its fourth straight day of losses and all pauses after last week's losses. But we are, as I said, seeing some small buying across all commodities in Asia. Be interested to see if there's any follow through as the European markets open this afternoon. Bitcoin continues to trade mid range as it has for the last week, and earnings, as we've already suggested, will dominate sentiment. We've got the RBA decision today with a rate pause expected, but it's going to be that press conference afterwards. That's going to be the major market mover. German factory orders and Eurozone retail sales also due later. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Uh, we are looking at Apple here on the US market. How were up yesterday despite the overall softness in markets? Uh, you can see it bounced off a of support around 180.40 at the end of last week. This is subsequent to earnings, this drop. Uh, but we're seeing some buying coming back in, and it's a really important level. We're seeing it approach at around about 189.40. We think if it breaches this, we could see it back to test 200 in the short term. So one to keep an eye on as it opens tonight with a potential return to $200. In the FX markets, the GB pound US dollar is looking interesting. We've seen a move down in this pair subsequent to that US dollar strength over the last couple of days. But we are seeing a little bit of a potential reversal going on here with upside possibly back up to 126, which is around about this level here. We could see pauses on the way up, so it's worthwhile bearing that in mind. Uh, but in the absence of any UK or US data of significance over the next 24 hours, we could see this move technically up on a breach of that 125, 125.50 level. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.